Our heroes had found their way out of the dark and confusion of the underwear. Mario and his friends now saw the sun shining brightly against a beautiful blue sky. This was the sky paradise Granby called home, a place of joy called the Over There. Somewhere above the never-ending layers of clouds waited Granby himself. Mario and his friends began to make their way up that fluffy road to above. This time in Chapter 7-3, The Forbidden Apple. Ah, me, blue skies again. If we continue upward, we'll soon be in the over there. Let us away. Yes. That sounds well and good, but we have yet to find Peach. I'm so worried. Yeah, she's gotta be feeling lonely without her burly, awesome hubby at her side. <laughs> Pray, I would understand this. Is Yon Peach the lady friend of Mario? Hey, shut your trap, Fluffy! You're talking about the wife of Lord Bowser! Oh, verily, but the damsel looms large in his regard. Is this not so? A one-sided crush, then, mayhap. Ah, me, enough idle blather. I shall run ahead, so keepest up if thou canst. If thou climbest too slowly, the sun will set, so shaketh a leg. <clears throat> I have something prepped here. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief, that thou, her maid, art more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious. Her vestal livery is but sick and green, and none but fools do wear it. Cast it off. It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Oh, that she were. She speaks, yet she says nothing. What of that? Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and before this episode began, I grabbed my copy, my leather-bound, 22-karat, golden-laid copy of Romeo and Juliet. And I have Midsummer's Night Dream, uh, or a uh, Midsummer Night's Dream and Hamlet at my side, just in case I need some, some creative juices to flow. Okay, I also, last time, I had one HP, and this time, we're not going to lose that HP. I'm going to be very careful. Ooh! Got him. And I'm, I'm assuming I was right that uh, there is a mushroom there because there usually is at the beginning of a level chapter thing. Okay, let's jump up here. Go over here. Make this jump. Almost. I almost did. Uh, it looks like Luigi's going to be useful here. But yeah, last time we, we fought the Underchomp. And uh, yeah, that was exciting. Bowser dodged uh, like a pro, and we were left with one HP to work with, and we work with it we did. And this time we're climbing, as you can see. Well, so there's a number on that cloud. Odd, okay. Jump up, back up, not miss our train, because I feel like falling here would be very punishing. I feel like it would not end well for those, and by those I mean me, involved. Let's jump up. Cool. I kind of like the music here. It's it's pretty cheery. Um, although that that is one complaint I've had about this game thus far. Got it. Is that it? The OST. I mean, I've been I've been editing these episodes. Obviously, I don't have someone to do that for me. And so whenever I'm doing the end slate, I get to listen to the tracks in the soundtrack of the game. And I've been actually less than impressed. Um, they're just. A lot of games, I'm just going to use Skyward Sword as an example, because I've been in a big Skyward Sword mood. And in case you're fairly new to the channel, uh, Skyward Sword was my the first game I Let's Played here on the channel. That's what I started with. It's one of my favorite games. But, uh, let's grab this, grab some points here. But the thing is with that OST is I'm going to miss... As I was saying, the thing with that OST is that it's just... Very, it's very catchy. The Skyward Sword OST is, is a very catchy uh, playlist. And, I mean, there are a lot of humbleable tracks in it, and you can really get in the groove of it. This game, though, there aren't that many humble tracks. And whenever I'm, I'm listening to a soundtrack, that's what I, I look for, because I enjoy singing. I enjoy singing an awful lot. Uh, and my family will attest to this, and my friends too, even if they don't like it sometimes. <laughs> here ended the stair one. Uh, okay, let's go through here, I guess. So, 
like, the, the two tracks I can think of off the top of my head that I, I remember and they stick with me are the, um, oh hey, there's a flower, let's catch up to these, got it, a lot of points there, uh, real quick, I'm just going to get a distraction, good, I got, I got some points, and cool, uh, cool, okay, I, I guess I got some points here, got another thing of points, and that's cool, okay. But uh, the two songs I can think of are the Francis Battle theme, which I've listened for, to for about, I guess, half an hour before, um, before realizing that I clicked on the half an hour loop of it, and uh, what else is it? The Oh yeah, it's the Mr. L theme. Both of those are really catchy songs. They're they're pretty good, especially since I they don't borrow from anything, and they're completely original to this game. But the rest of the songs are just kind of they're just kind of like meh, eh. Okay, they provide atmosphere, and they do a good job at that, but they're not songs I would really listen to. So, I mean, that's probably also why, uh, coming, now that I think of it, it's probably why, uh, this game isn't, isn't liked as much as the other Paper Mario games, because those ones have pretty good songs that are fairly catchy. I mean, I haven't played them, so I can't really say, oh, I, I listen to this one all the time. But people like it, and I've heard the OST, and it's pretty good, um, of other, of other games, so... That's probably part of the reason why this game isn't liked as much. Because, like, at the end of the day, Paper uh, paper Mario games are... They're immersive. That's that's what they're supposed to be. They're, it's Because if you're just watching one be play, being played... Ooh, hello. It just kind of... It's not that amazing, but once you get into it, and you start to get to know the quirkiness of the game, sort of like Earthbound, you start to enjoy it more and more. But if you just pick it up randomly, you, 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 it doesn't take itself seriously, and you just don't really know to, what to expect. Oh, wow, there are a lot of enemies up here! Uh, while I'm thinking of it, I'm going to, after I get a style, and get hit. No, I didn't get hit. I'm going to bio that enemy, because that's completely new. It's not even a pallet swap. That is a rough puff. It floats in the sky like a little grumpy thundercloud. HP is t 15 and attack is 4. It will shock you if you get too close. You better keep your distance until you see an opening to attack. Do you think it's related to the cloud Lakitu rides around on? That's actually the question I was asking myself, and I'm glad that the game realized that, you know, there's a strong resemblance there. Jump that, go over here. Yeah, I guess the reason why I'm talking about the, the OST, in case you didn't know, that's official soundtrack, is because I've, I've been working, or my family, has been working on the, uh, the back deck of my house, and we're we're redecking it, and um, so I've been listening to soundtracks while it. Did I? Did I? I did. No, I just used my life shroom. Meh. Ah, uh, pal, you know better than that. Oh, I feel bad. Uh, but there. So I've been listening to OSTs in the meantime while working and cutting wood and doing what what have you. I've listened to a lot. I've listened to um. Let's see. I've listened to. Twilight Princess, Xenoblade Chronicles X, um, what else? Xenoblade Chronicles X, the Ruby OST, um, a little bit of Donkey Kong Country Returns, uh, and Skyward Sword, and Xenoblade Chronicles. So those are, those are a lot of games, and so I've just been kind of thinking about what, about how, how much, um, a game's soundtrack affects my decision-making on how much I like the game. And it actually affects it quite a lot. Okay, we're, we're, I know we're going up here, but I've kind of, I've kind of, whenever I start talking about a random thing, I kind of get fi fixated on that. And so, things like, oh, I shouldn't be using this, um, what are you? What are you? Okay, well, you're, you're dead. I, I know that. I kind of wish I had bioed him, but whatever. But yeah, when I, whenever I start talking about things, I just kind of get tunnel visioned and don't really think about what I'm doing. So, are we just climbing up? Have I read anything that's an objective? Oh, mad style points. Yeah, cool. I feel I feel like we're close to a level up, and hopefully we are because it's been a long time. I remember the beginning game where you just got level ups like crazy, but I think here I'll check in a second after I kill this enemy. Okay, he's dead. Uh, plus yeah, plus. I'm only level 11. Wow. Wow. And I, I I am actually very... Wait, wait a minute. 
Is that triple? Yeah, okay, that, that is. Um, so we're close to a level. We only have about a thousand more points to go, so if I can if I can get, get, make that work, then that'll be good. Got a rough puff card, and actually, I just thought of a I just thought of a huge downside to getting the catch cards, and that is you're not able to style as effectively. You know, because you can't jump on enemies if you kill them instantly. That's actually pretty huge. I shouldn't have gotten that. If I had known, then I wouldn't have gotten it because that's, man, I. I mean, it's not like I, I can avoid getting catch cards as long as I'm not using, you know, the catch ability on um, enemies, but if I can avoid getting catch cards from here on out, I'm going to try to do that. Although, also, we're kind of, we're in, I think, what is it, the last, are we in the last world? I think we are. Uh, where do I go? Uh, Mario, I need your flip ability so I can see more of the map. There are clouds over there. What's... What's up here? More, okay. Oh, hello. Let's go on that, shall we? Over here, and flip, good. Okay, what's over here? Uh, the, these clouds are numbered, and this is 38, even though it's to the right of the one we were just on. Oh, that was that was brilliant of avoidance there. Uh, can I jump down? No, I can't. Well, have I gone through this door? I don't know. I don't know. This place is confusing because everything looks the same. And I guess that's where that's where the level design comes in is like, hey, we're not an easy level. We actually are very confusing. Okay, let's get these, whatever these are. I love that my first instinct was to use Kudge on them, even though <laughs> it's just my stupid memory once again. Be like, oh yeah, this is where you use Kudge. This, this is totally it. <laughs> just completely nonchalantly solving a puzzle. Um, what's in here? We've gone here before. We've gone here before. The enemies respawn. So, yes, we have been here before. Dealt 14 damage to that guy now. Where, where are we supposed to go? There's something over there. So let's, where can we go? Okay, we can go back to the beginning. Okay, oops. Just use this. Get back up. Uh, Luigi. Can you use your ability here? No. You can't. Uh, where are we going? This area is so confusing. Dumb enemies in my way. Let's avoid him. Come on. Come on. Good. Jumped on him. And we're at 36. So let's jump on this get all the way as high as we can. We're on 37. There's nothing. Okay, you know what? Leap of faith. Uh, no, it didn't work. We're all the way back to the beginning. Where are we supposed to go? I'm not liking this area because it's confusing. It's so confusing. Also, I can't see. I mean, we've been here before. We've been here countless times at this point. And I see clouds where we're supposed to go, over there, but how are we supposed to get to them? Okay, we've been, we've been here before, okay. We've seen this before. Can we use Luigi from here? Let's try, let's try. This may be the solution, because there are clouds directly above us. Okay, that's how we progress. We're on 39 now, that's further than we've ever been. And there's a sign there, what does it say? Let's get some styles, okay. Here ended stair three. All right, so we, we did make progress here. Uh, jump on you. And jump on you again. Avoid your sound ray of death. We're very close to a, uh, another level up. And let's go through the door. I have no clue. I'm, these numbers are kind of weird because they, didn't, they haven't said where these numbers are leading us. Leading us. Leading us. So I, I really have no clue. Get more points. Fail style. Uh, 42 is the secret of life. Stair 4. Just calling out what I'm looking at at this point, because I have no clue where I'm supposed to go. Except up. Up is the is a, just a vague indicator, and we don't even have lovely, Love Bee this time to be like, hey, this is where you're supposed to go. She just ran way ahead, and we haven't seen high nor tail of her, is that a term? I don't know. Of her in a while. Since the beginning of the level, so I have no clue what she's up. Oh, hey! 
Hello, it's Peach. Huh? Is she? Oh, Noah, a pizza. Snore. Princess Apitra, hey hey, wake up a princess. Snore. Oh come on, this is just plain annoying. Get up. Snore. Mm -mm, this girl really can't sleep. I mean, that was a serious war roar right there. Ah oh, me, Prithy, tell me, Princess Peach, I assume. She hath eaten of the golden fruit. She lacketh the common sense, I fear. Golden fruit? Okay. The over there teemeth with magical trees whose fruit maketh many an odd effect. The fruit of golden hue maketh people so satisfied they falleth into a deep sleep. And I mean deep sleep. The kind thou dost not wake up from for a hundred years. A hundred years, uh? You gotta be kidding. Look, I'm a patient Koopa, but I'm not that patient. Love Bee, isn't there any way to wake her up sooner? Pray, wherefore would I know of such... She looks very angry. Ah, but hold a moment. I do remember my father's words of long ago. Yeah, he said one tree in the over there bore a taboo fruit that could wake waketh anyone. Taboo fruit? What kind of tree has that sort of thing? Pray, wherefore should I know, huh? So, then all we know is that we need to find a, a kind of fruit. Marvelous. Well, uh, we gotta do something, huh? Let's go find the, any kind of fruit that we can. So, yon Princess Peach, all seem to hold her in a regard most high. Hmm. Do what thou wantest. I am not helping. I am sulking. Why is she sulking? Is it because we held her in high regard? Use the blue apple. What is it going to do? Is this one taboo? Well, I hope this wakes Princess Peach up. Okay, it's not waking her up. I guess it's not that one. Alright, so I guess we're going to be finding more fruit? And I assume since we've seen one that doesn't do it, there will be multiples. So let's find them? I need to remember, it's on the 43rd cloud that that uh, Princess Peach is at. So without further ado, let's find some more fruit. Um, where though? And how? Jump up here. Missed it. Once again, this level seems to really punish you for falling. I mean, you're gonna have to backtrack a lot if you, if you ever fall. So let's see, let's see where... Yeah, there's another, there's another platform. Let's climb this one. And go to the top. It's very slow. Very, very slow. Hello! Are you a catch card that I don't want? No, you're not. You're a shroom shake. Alright, that's, that's neat. I need that. Lakudu. Yes, hello. I, I missed you too, buddy. Bunch of clouds. Uh, let's jump over here. Avoid the enemies that we saw on the first level. Get a style. Jump on you. Almost. I'm so close to the next level. So incredibly close. Also, the whole styling uh, taboo thing where I can't style for the life of me has come back. So whoop de doo on that. Uh, is there another... What's this say? Yellow fruit hither? Okay... Nothing's over here. Oh, there's something over here, though. Let's climb over. Let's uh, walk over this way and go into the door. All right. Yellow fruit hither. That's kind of weird because it means... Yellow oh, yellow fruit here. Oh, derp. My old English is a little bit rusty, even though I, I read... Uh, whatchamacallit. Okay, so there are a bunch of different fruits, I assume, and from memory, that my memory kind of confirms it. So I'm going to grab as many fruits as I can and then go back to Peach and use them all. But that way I can get the uh, the best assortment and salad uh, mixing pot of funny oops, of funny um, results. So let's do that. Let's climb back up. Go back to where the stair ended. Go all the way up. Can we jump up this way? What were we supposed to do here? I don't remember. My memory's bad. 
Oh, there was a there's a jumpy cloud. That's what it was. There it was, and there it goes. Okay, punished for falling. Punished for falling. Up we go. All right, we're up here. Uh, this is a thick cloud. I'm just gonna real quick check that there isn't another path. There is not. So let's go through this door into the fourth. Is it fourth stair? I guess, and see if there's any more fruit to be had. All right, there's a door immediately right here, so let's go through this one and see what it yields. More fruit? Nothing. Oh, no, never mind. There's more fruit. Uh, as always, it pays to flip. Now, I kind of wonder what kind of effect this fruit will have on... Oops. What kind of fruit effect this fruit will have on me? Uh, let's throw away the sleepy sheep since I don't need it. Poison shroom since I've been waiting forever to get that out of my inventory. Because I've, I thought it was useless, but I didn't want to also, it was worthless to sell, and I didn't want to use it, or when I thought to use it, I was already at low health, so I thought it might poison me. So I finally get to get, get that out of my inventory. Uh, I don't think I need all these items, so let's just leave them behind, go back through. So we have pink apples and we have orange ones, so there's, there have to be a couple more. Um, I feel like the, the taboo fruit will be of special color, though, because taboo things usually are. I mean, I know taboo was in, in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, so this one's bound to be. Okay, there are new enemies. Hello. What are you? That's a Skelebit. It's a foul monster that's made of bones. HP is 10, attack is 2, defense is 2. They poke at people with sharp spears. Don't land on that spear when it's pointed up. They were evil in life, so now they must dwell in dark depths of the underwear. And why are they here? Odd. Uh, Bowser. Can you take care of these, buddy? You seem to be prime at, at stomping people. Crush him. Oh. And not a level up, but there's Merlee. What are we going to get? Anything good? What is that? It's fire. I know that. Wh where'd it go? Did it? Did it disappear because we didn't... No, no, it's up there. Okay. Uh, boils enemies? We'll throw away yellow apple, even though that one's totally orange. Uh, can I... Can you come down, buddy? Well, I have to... Uh, okay, I guess I'll have to switch to carry. Jump up and flip. Mm. Jump up! I, I said... Jump up! No, I said... Jump up! There we go! Finally! Die! You're an easy enemy, too. You're just hard to reach. Especially with the D-pad being as as precise as a cinder block. Seriously, the Nintendo's D-pads, or I guess D-pads in general, have always been a little bit iffy with me. There, have always, there are a couple there are a couple that I like. Uh, the ones for the 3DS are pretty good. In fact, those ones are really good. I have no complaints about those. Except the fact that they squeak a little bit at times, but... That's not really a complaint, that's just a statement of life. Uh, Luigi? I need you. Make this jump. Good job. Jump on this enemy. Jump on him again. We're so close to the next level. I mean, really close. Black fruit hither. It's here, so I guess we'll flip again. Yeah! Re re repeating puzzles are repeating. Go through here. Cool. Man, when it said bones earlier, I I thought of it, but like I didn't say it because we were doing things. Uh, there's it kind of to use the term that the kids use today. It triggered it triggered me because like uh, me and me and Ryan we started up a uh, what do I throw away? I'm actually gonna throw away the fire fire burst. It doesn't really seem that useful. Uh, and I'm gonna grab one more of these and throw away. You know what, no, I, I'm content with one. Um, but yeah, we started up a Terraria server with me, um, a buddy of mine from college, and uh, Nova and Dave, basically just the pals, and then one random buddy from college. Um, and it was pretty fun, but <laughs> my buddy from college, he is a funny person, and so... I didn't mean to go down here. And so he, uh, his character had a bone mask on and he himself was obsessed with bones for whatever reason including Skeletor so he's he was pretty much he's pretty much the embodiment of Skeletor 
And so he's, he walked around saying "mia" both in chat and in, in the voice call that we had up. And uh, it was it was hilarious, although a little bit concerning for his sanity. Although coming from me, as someone who's very a very random person, I guess I shouldn't be concerned for anyone's sanity but my own. Um, we can't get over there, and that's the only way to get up. Um, in fact, actually, it looks like it looks like this is meant for Peach. So considering we've gotten everything, I think, on these levels. I'm just gonna jump back down and see if the fruit that we have, because we have three or four colors of it, uh, if if that will suffice. So let's let's go. Not before I get a level up. I'm so close. One. Okay, jump on him. There it is. My HP went up by five. Nice, nice. And when's the next level up? Um. Cool. It's. It's far away, actually. It's, wow, it's 60,000 away. So I'm not going to be getting that anytime soon. In fact, depending on when the game ends, like, it may be, it may be a long time. Um, or, I mean, it may be, never happened. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, where was it? Was it Cloud 39? Cloud 39. So that's this one, right? Or was it on Cloud 40? I mean, it's probably Cloud 40 because that's where the, the sign is. No. It was on Cloud 39. I'm not making this up. It was, right? Where? It was right here. It was literally right here. In the class, I'm missing something. Which is really upsetting because if I didn't remember right... Oh, boy. Did I not remember right? No. No, man. I got, I got such a... A tight feeling like a, a twisting feeling in my stomach because I don't actually know where peach is oh no oh boy oh no 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 not like this not like this not like this where's peach where did she go was it 29 that's my hope that's my hope it's 29 right it's just a sick prank bro wait is that her is that her 33 I don't think it was 33 but it could be. It wasn't. Oh. Ah! Is it up here? It better be. If it's not, I am ready to to shoot this game in the face. I, I like the tie. I like the game, but at times it can just it. The level design can be really infuriating, and this this level is one of them. There it is. I actually looked up a guide on IGN to find her. Okay, let's. Okay, that one's. That one's probably the taboo one, because it's black, and black things are bad people, and I'm not racist. Uh, blue one, what does it do? Well, I do hope this wakes her up. Oh yeah, that was the one that shrunk her. Okay, what about the yellow apple? What does it do? But where am I? Oh, did it, did it wake her up? Princess Peach, oh thank goodness you woke up. Eek, what's happening? A mustache? Get some lip wax now! <laughs> okay. She grew a mustache. Alright. Um, so, does that mean if I eat lemons? Then I can grow a, a weird mustache? Oh no, it turned her into a literal peach! No! But she's still asleep. Okay, black one. It's the only one I have, so... Hopefully it works. What about this one? Please, let this be the taboo fruit. Okay, it's different text. Oh, uh... It looks as though she's waking up. Mm, grr. Gross! Are you all right? Ew, what was that? What in the world did you just make me eat? Well, she's awake, at least, unless she turns into a popsicle. It worked! Yahoo! Princess of Peach, you're awake! Lu Luigi? You're safe and sound? Grar! Hey, concerned husband over here, Princess Peach! Ah. Where in the world are we? And what was I doing here? I can't remember a thing. We are in the over there, Princess Peach. Or, we are in the over there, Princess Peach. Dementio's attack sent you, sent you here. So, thou wakest. 
I am Lovebe. I am bound for the over there, and I take yon travelers with me. Is that so? Well, it's nice to meet you, Lovebe. I shall head onward, so dwindle, dwaddleth not, or dawdleth not. Hear it me, O oh princess of silly peaches. Oh my, I wonder if I said something rude. Ugh, don't worry about it. Oh, I must have caused you all so much trouble. I am so sorry, but I am very happy to see all of you again. I'll try and do my best to wake, make up for time lost. Prince Preach, rejoin your party and stuff. Finally, we have character that we need in this area that'll be useful. <laughs> Normally, I don't use Peach, but like the the uh, umbrella will be so useful in this area. Plus, I know where we're going to use it. So, okay, let's just jump on the platform. Use the umbrella power to land right on it. And just continue on. I know exactly, once again, I know exactly where we're supposed to use her. So let's do just that. I'm not going to end the episode even though we're, we are at time. Because of what happened last time. Which I I didn't want that to happen. But it is a result of, uh, of me, of this game being partially blind. And that is I'm going to miss some episode timings. So that's, that's bound to happen. But... I'm going, I think the level's almost over, so let's just continue on a little bit longer. Okay, uh, through the door, and it, we should make quick work of this now that we have the parasol at our disposal. Uh, so, we're supposed to not go over here. Uh, let's just use Luigi to hack the level a little bit. Go up here, jump all the way up. There we go, this is exactly where we need to be. So they, they even left a convenient shortcut. And then we can jump this gap. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. The cloud 55. Jump on that. And let's just get a couple styles just because I want to feel good about my life. Cool. And jump up the cloud. Okay. Uh, Luigi, get back here. This, this level's pretty much made for the both of them. Even if it is... As I said, as I iterated my frustration with earlier, I do not like this level at all. I mean, the design is just bad. If you, I mean, if you look at how, um, at how so many of the jumps are just completely blind, where you're, where every cloud, you pretty much have to use Luigi's super jump just in case there's a cloud up above you. And that's just not good because it doesn't scroll you off screen. It's not like you need that to travel normally. It's just you have to constantly check to see if there's something off screen that's vital to the progression of the game. Oh, that was that was a sick jump. Let's do that again. Cool. Uh, what is this? Stair six. Okay, so we're almost at the top. No, curse ya. I'm just gonna leave you alone. Uh, get up here. Uh, not anything here? Oh, nice. Full health. Uh, what's in here? Nothing. <laughs> oh, I hit something with my head. Okay, let's get up here. Almost to the end of level, so I'm just going to continue on, as I said. And uh, it's nice to see Peach back, though. And I'm wondering what kind of pixel, if any... That's that's odd. What kind of pixel, if any, uh, we're going to get in this area, because we, we haven't gotten one a, in a while. The last one was... The last story one was Dotty. That was two worlds ago? So, are we done getting pixels? I kind of hope not, because they're they're fun. I'm also kind of hoping to find something more OP than Bowser Berry, or Bowser Carry. Can't leave her out. Okay, so that's a drawback of the, the whole Peach thing. We can't actually use the parasol off after going off of one of those super clouds. So that's a little bit disappointing. Jump up here. Uh, let's see if we can make that in time. Never mind, it came to us. All right. Let's go up. We're at... I'm guessing that all of these clouds lead to 100, so... Whoa! We're about two-thirds done at this point, but also we don't have to backtrack to get another character. What is this? Uh, another long last shake. That'll be useful. Uh, if I recall, this this particular Curseus slows us in place, so it's not that bad. Uh, let's switch to... Let's switch to Barry. Actually, no, no, no. Let's switch to Fleep, because then if I if I end up missing a jump, I can just ground pound onto it. Oh wait, no, not Fleep. I meant to do Thudley, sorry, they have the same shape. Fl uh, Thudley, because then if 
I miss jump, then I can be like, uh, that jump is mine, and I can I can stick it like Tony Hawk. Nice. I can't jump up here, so I'll have Luigi do it for me. Cool. We're on. We're almost to to number 70 here. Oh. Grab this and leave, grab this and leave. Another one of these things, leave. Don't need to fight enemies because I'm not close to a level up. Although if I if I use that logic, then I'll never get another level up for the rest of the game. Oh guys, why do I need to kill enemies? I'm not even close to a level up. What, th th that's how you get level ups? What? What? What are you? I don't care, you're, you're dead to me. And you're also probably dead. You'll die eventually, even if you're already undead. Okay, so that's a thing, let's jump back down. Get onto that platform. Barely out of its reach. Okay, let's do that again. Whoa, where, what? Okay, that was that was really weird. Uh, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to land it on that. Although, I, you know what, what am I doing? Just do this. <laughs> Pal, what are you doing? You're dumb. Up this way, up here, all the way up. We're on floor 74. Jump on this. Where is it going to take me? Somewhere safe? Somewhere beautiful? Clouds? More clouds. How do I know it would be more clouds? Like, it's almost as if we've seen clouds for the past however many minutes. What is it? It's a life shroom to make up for that one that I, I burned earlier in a fire. It was awful. It was terrible. Uh, but at least we're in, we're in, like, palace areas. Whoa. Hello. Uh, I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, that seems like a trap, but I'm gonna take it. That seems like it's gonna bring me to the beginning and be like, bye, later. Yeah, I did. No, bring me back in. Okay, good. <laughs> so that creates a shortcut to floor 73's save block. Interesting. Hi, I'm Cyrus. I'm a newborn cloud. Pleased to meet ya. I've got big dreams, big ones. I want to be the biggest cloud I can be. I heard about this one guy who can grow big just by eating a mushroom. That would be so cool if you could find a big making thing like that. Give it to me. Oh, that's why they gave us a backtrack thing. Well, it, this, wait, big. They said big. This makes you small. Uh, I never encountered a big making thing. I, 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 I never encountered a big making thing. No, no, I don't want, I don't want to backtrack. No, 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 please, take take this mustache, take it. Or is it not the mustache? It makes what happens. You're a peach. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? You know what? I don't want to deal with this right now, even though I'm going to be dealing with it right now. I'm going to actually end the episode, and if it ends the chapter immediately, I'm just going to roll with that. Because I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I'm too frustrated with this game at the moment, because the level design, for some reason, just got much, much worse. So I may even just be using a guide next time, but like, I don't know. It's... I got really frustrated with this game. And it may be the level design, it may be me as well. So I'm going to actually end it there and <laughs> cool off because I am frustrated with this game. It doesn't really show and I haven't really iterated it much beyond that whole finding Peach thing. But like the level design, I don't like. It's just not that enjoyable. But I'll hopefully it'll take a turn for the better next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I can make the next episode so that you would like it. Next time we're going to backtrack, I'm probably even going to use a guide, to be honest, because it's all stuff I've seen. I just happen to miss one door. Uh, so I'll probably use a guide to find that, that big making fruit. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I release new episodes of this Tuesdays and Thursdays. Saturdays are periodically ABOs.